Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar. My name is Steve Pavolny. I'm the Senior Director of Security Research at Exabeam and I wanted to take a few minutes today just to walk you through some of the amazing enhancements that have come out with our April release of Exabeam Nova. But to do that I think it's important to go back a little bit in time. Pretty much a year ago today is when we had originally released our Copilot solution. And if you're familiar with our Copilot, and I'll show you kind of what it looked like back in the day, it was very effective for its time and uh, it served its purpose. So if you remember, in line in the platform, we produced a pretty basic summary, uh, but it was very effective. It provided an overview of the incident, the possible threats, and some of the next steps for an analyst to take. This has been one of our most popular uh, enhancements to the product that we've ever released. We've had major usage by our customers for this, but we knew all along that we wanted to evolve this and take it somewhere new. And that's where Exabeam Nova came in. Let's look first a little bit at the way that the prompt was designed for the original Copilot so that we can understand what are some of the enhancements with Exabeam Nova. Now, the first Copilot we released was 500 words or less. It used all of the basic principles of effective prompting for an LLM, including helping to build a persona around the agent or around the uh, investigation, where the LLM would treat the case as if they were the security analyst uh, investigating it and try to understand to summarize the incident. You'll see some of the refinements that we added to this prompt, simple ways of instructing the LLM what type of data to return and what not to, and even the format, which gives us that overview, possible threats, and next steps. The important thing about the original design of this is that every single case and alert was natively requesting this as soon as the analyst opened it within the platform. And further, we provided all of the detection details, meaning the alerts that were generated along with that case, to the LLM along with the prompt. This gave it a very effective way to understand the nature of the threat in the language that Exabeam uses to describe our detections. And it also used our search API to go in and add additional details like process names or file paths that may not have been present in the detection, but were present in the search criteria. So ultimately, this gave us a really effective threat summary, which we paired with an analyst assistant, kind of like a typical chatbot, also armed with the detection details of every case and alert. So you could ask either generic security questions like what is Mimi Cats and why is it typically malicious? Or you could ask very specific questions like what's the most interesting detection here and why? Or what user was involved in this case? Let's fast forward to, to April 1st when we released Xbeam Nova and talk about the enhancements that this brings. I'm going to bring up our actual SOC instance and part of a pen test that we ran internally to show you some of the differences. Now, just like before, we've built in the Exabeam Nova investigation summary in line in our platform and threat center so that when an analyst is viewing a case or alert, it's already automatically populated for them. But let's watch it build out the entire summary in real time. Now, before we go into the details of this, I want to talk about some of the enhancements that Xbeam Nova brings over our original Copilot solution. The input prompt is well over 10 times the length. And it's not always true that a bigger prompt is a better result, but it definitely allows us to craft and fine tune the responses that we expect in a format that we want to see. And you'll see a much, much richer, more actionable investigation summary that takes us from the paradigm of simply reviewing a case or alert to driving an analyst or uh, an analyst investigation experience. Along with the dramatically expanded default prompt, we now include every single detection that's present in that alert or case. Prior, they were limited just for performance and because we were kind of exploring the space, but now every single detection is being sent. So there's no longer going to be hallucinations or missing data. It really expands on the capabilities of this agent to produce an investigation summary. The components of this summary are a simple overview of what's happening here. We can think of this as an executive summary. And most of the rest of this analysis is intended for your SOC analysts here who want to understand how is this threat classified? 
In this case, we can see that it was classified as a compromised insider. We will classify at this level as either compromised insider, malicious insider, or unclassified. And within those two first classifications, there's a breakdown of a number of significant use cases and MITRE TTPs that align to those. This threat classification, however, is based on a custom proprietary threat classification framework that's built on our understanding of exabeam detections and the way that they translate into either a compromised or malicious insider. We'll also provide the reasoning here from the model that tells you why we made this classification or why the model decided to make this classification. And I won't read every bullet point in here, you'll get familiar with this soon, but you can see things like the identified threat vectors and the behavioral indicators that fired here, the potential for escalation for this threat, some of the context factors that are common across this threat, and even the specific threat vector. In this case, it's very likely that malware was deployed. And because this is a pen test, I do actually know that a piece of custom malware was created and run here, executed, and was successful in achieving the internal pen test results. We'll describe what those threat vectors were and the behaviors that had contributed to them. And even the model will determine what are the most interesting detections, up to 10 of them, that we pulled out of the timeline from the investigation. And this is based on both our understanding of the criticality of our detections and the model being able to separate out intelligently what might be more interesting than something else. Finally, just like before, we provided a set of next steps here. But these are much richer and more actionable than prior. Before, you might be used to seeing review this user, determine if they're malicious, go do this, that, or the other. We have very specific and actionable instructions here, which down the road, and hopefully the very near road, will be able to fully automate and conduct that complete investigation autonomously. Right now, we'll tell you the steps here. Review user accounts and privileges. Review the user's password and enable 2FA or MFA. Uh, looking at the suspicious outbound connections for command and control activity. These are just some of the examples of the type of steps that an analyst will want to take to investigate and remediate this threat. And finally, the model has actually also pulled out all of the interesting entity details from all the detections here that are involved in this case or alert. So we see the host name that was involved in the pen test and the internal IP address, the vendor that reported the detections, which in this case was CrowdStrike Falcon third-party alerts. And if there's users involved or their roles or managers, um, anything like that, the model can extract that as well and provide that here. Because there's no username and just a host present here, all we see is the LSAS process. But all of these fields will be filled in if they are found in any of the logs or detections. In addition to this, we have our analyst assistant, which remains in place here to ask follow-up questions, whether they're generic security questions or targeted investigation questions about this investigation summary. And it acts much like it did before, but it is also expanded with all of the detections involved in the case or alert. So the analyst can ask very pointed specific questions and follow up on that investigation summary to close it out. Now, we're undergoing a huge period of innovation, and what you're seeing here is truly the, just the tip of the spear in terms of what we want to do next. Down the road, we'll actually be looking to implement, implement full end-to-end -end automation of our agentic framework, where we call in incident response agents, where we do threat intelligence lookups in real time, um, where we can issue and uh, create reports and timelines about the event, and even find things like related threats or alerts based on the user or case history. This is actually all stuff we've been already exploring and have some phenomenal early successes for. So stay tuned closely, uh, follow Exabeam Nova's progress over the next six months. We're really excited to share this with you and hope that you use it actively and it provides a really powerful investigation experience for you. Please provide us with your feedback. It's one of the biggest things that we can use to uh, leverage and improve the product and build something that actually has a ton of value for you and the customer. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.